Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another Buzzing About Town here on Buzzing Pattaya. And today, I've got a couple of little surprises I want to show you. One place I know that I think will be very useful for you, particularly if you fall ill or you may need a testosterone enhancement. Check that one out. Uh, so we're going to do uh, a quick ride around. I'm starting down here, and the reason I'm starting on Trapaya and Trebisit Junction is just so it's a much easier bearing point for you to take a focus from and uh, go up to where we're going to go today. Uh, it's a nice sunny day, which is uh, quite unusual because it has been quite wet lately, as you probably are all well aware about. So uh, we're going to head up Trapaya Road, uh, sorry, Tre Trebisit Road. We're going to head up Trebisit Road. I'm going to turn a little left, and I want to show you this hidden gem, Dr. Olivier. Uh, he's a very, very good uh, doctor. He's very highly uh, respected here and uh, offers all kinds of uh, treatments, etc. And it's a far cry from having to go to the Bangkok Paddy Hospital and all the expensive places. Right, so I'm going to uh, just start the bike up and then we're going to head off up there and uh, let me show you around today while the sun is still shining. All right, so let's head off. Still doing loads of work here. It's been going on for months, it has. Months and months and months. And I don't know when they're going to complete it. Obviously, it looks like they're widening the road, uh, which I have to say on this particular part of the uh, uh, Trepisit Road, much needed, especially at the weekends when we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday market. My Lord, it's uh, carnage here, particularly up by the Sukhumvit Road. But it's amazing what you can find down this stretch. There's a lot that goes on here. As even weed shops are appearing again. I'll tell you what, they're taking over. They're taking over. But the place I want to show you is just up here. And uh, like I say, guys, if you're ever feeling poorly and you just want to see an English speaking doctor and uh, you don't want to go through all the rigmarole of uh, insurance and all the rest of it, come down here. Um, I've seen him on a few occasions. He's absolutely brilliant on the nail. Not expensive whatsoever and very, very thorough. And we're just going to turn up here. So when you're coming up Trepsit Road, you see that blue cross in front of you? It says X-Ray Digital. There's a little housing estate just here on the left-hand side. And uh, that's where you want to go into, just in here. Just in here. And uh, you can come in here, round the bend, do a swift right, and he's right there in front of us. And uh, there is a method in my madness, as uh, while I'm here, I'm going to go and get a testosterone jab. Uh, my testosterone levels were so, so low. So uh, I've been coming here and he's brilliant. Really, really good. My wife loves him. <laughs> Give me a jab in the backside of testosterone and whoop, whoop, we're good to go. Right, okay, there he is there, Dr. Olivier at Clinic. And uh, as I say, very, very reasonable prices. Definitely worth checking out. And uh, I'm gonna quickly pop in. I'll be back in a second once I've had a prick in me bum. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's that done. Uh, like I say, guys, if you do need any uh, medical attention, very, very uh, worthwhile going to him. It's not expensive, and uh, he knows his stuff, to be fair. He knows his stuff. I'm just riding around there. I'm just going around the block here just to show. These kind of houses, you can rent these houses. Um, you get anything from between oh, between ten and 15,000 baht a month. Uh, some might be a little bit less, depending on if they're furnished. And if you're coming out here for like three months, rather than staying in a hotel for three months, Oh, there he goes, a dead end. <laughs> Brilliant, only me, eh? Uh, <laughs> anyway, if you are coming out here for, a, for like three months, um, you might find some of these places will rent for you for a short term like that, but they won't rent any less than three months. But uh, definitely worthwhile checking out. As I say, the costs are very good and uh, just gives you a bit more freedom than being in a hotel or a long-term rental apartment. Can't believe we went down a dead end there. <laughs> Right, okay, so what we're gonna do now, it's, it's starting to rain, I can't believe it. It was lovely this morning. What a change of situation. I've been in, seen the doctor, I've had, a, I've had an injection in my backside, and uh, come out, and now it's starting to rain. Anyway, not to worry. But like I say, guys, go check him out. Honestly, it's well worth doing. Very, very good. And uh, it's not expensive either. I've just had uh, my course of treatment for as you know, I've got very, very high blood pressure, so I'm taking medication for that. I am, uh, I've gone back onto my medication for de my depression. Um, it's been quite tough lately, to be honest with you. Without getting into too much detail, it doesn't really matter. But uh, So I'm taking medication for that, and I've just had my uh, testosterone uh, jab. And uh, the whole lot for a month's tablets, as well as the testosterone, is uh, 1,600 bar, which is nothing. Nothing. Anyway, enough about that. So, 
Uh, we're going to head up now. If you keep going up here, this will take you up to Sukhumit Road. Uh, but we're going to sling a left in a minute. And I'm hoping this rain don't get any more, any heavier, because uh, I use a DJI, a DJI Pocket 2. And although I think they're very, very good cameras, they really don't like the rain. If it starts getting a bit more than, uh, than the heavy spitting, then uh, they tend to have a bit of a wobble. I don't know what that is, they're can Deluxe Cinematic Theatre. Cinematic Theatre, oh, I don't know what that is. Do you know what, I ride past some of these things for like years, as I have with that place, and I haven't got an igloo what they do inside. Maybe that's where you can go and make videos, I don't know. Cinematic Theatre. And uh, along this way, I'll tell you what, if you are buying a house here, there's lots of really nice furniture shops along this place. And of course, you know at the very, very top, you have the famous Trepasit Market on a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. And uh, Ian was there not so long back, and he said to me that it was really busy. There's a, there's a big wine place there, uh, Vines to Wine, all these different places. Lots of shops here, there's a bicycle. If you're looking for a bicycle to go out and get fit and exercise, uh, there's a very good bicycle shop. There's actually about three up here. Um, but what we'll do is, uh, no, I'll tell you, we'll keep going. I was going to take that little turn in there, but we'll keep going. It's nice and cool at the moment, and uh, we are heading into what will be the cold season very soon. Another month, and we'll start stepping into when the temperatures really drop, which is nice. It does get hot here. Go on, son, you put that in it. That's happy days, no dramas. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn left up here. And I'm going to show you a few places that need to be on your radar, guys. They need to be on your radar. And the nice thing about the city is, despite how it may appear when I ride around and think, bloody hell, it's going miles, in all honesty, you're not more than a 50 to 80 bar bulk journey away from any of these places. You really aren't. It is very, very economical to get around this city. So we're going to turn left here. And... Uh, Go down Soy 6, but this is Soy 6 with a very big difference to the one you may be thinking of. But having said that, there are still places down here that I want to show you that are definitely worth putting on your radar and coming out to have some fun with. We go on our bar calls, we come down to some of these places. Uh, you might know Babylon, uh, you'll know certainly Club 4 and Club Sin, around, uh, which I'll show you in a bit. But these are very, very good places. But along here, there's a lot of like side restaurants. Uh, there's a few gyms, there's motorbike shops, car washes. There's quite a lot of uh, amenities here that may be of use to you. But more so if you're, you know, if you're here long term, then uh, this is probably going to be the best place for you. If you're here on holiday, well then you just want to see what I'm going to show you and to hell with the rest of it. It don't really matter. I wonder how the old lens is, is uh, bearing up. I don't think I've got any spots of uh, rain on there, that's handy. These are big vast areas of land here, you know. I imagine in time these places will be snapped up and uh, things will be built here. And one thing that you might like to know about, and I'm just going to show you, it's just up here. Uh, but well, there's two places I want to show you in particular. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether you live here or you're here on holiday. Just around this corner here. Oh, this rain's getting heavier. Come on, please, be nice. Be nice. Oh, man. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's, uh, let me find these two players I want to show you, and I might have to just uh, take cover for a second. I don't know where the rain's coming from. Bloody hell. Right, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. No, I'm going to have to give up the ghost. And the trouble is, I'm not even hungry. If I was hungry, I'd stop and get some food. But I'm not hungry, so... Um... Shit. Right, let me, uh, let me pull over, guys, because the camera will go tits up in a second. Let's, uh, let's hide over here and let this cloud pass, hopefully. Incidentally, there's the old brigade. There's there, if you like your fishing. There's the fishing supplies there. Never even knew that was there. But these shops here, let me just roll it up. Have I used the word incidentally today? I don't actually know if I have. Uh, but in here, these are like brick and rail shops. You can get literally everything and anything in there. Cheapest chips, like 20 bar, 100 bar. And uh, you can get so many things, so many different things in there. Look at that, see, look up there, the sky's all right, it's not too bad. It's over there, it's catching me. Yeah, I fancy, a, fancy a, your own little tuk-tuk bus. I'm surprised we don't see many of those. In Bangkok, obviously, they're rife. 
but down here they've pretty much been ruled out uh, you don't get to see you only get the bark bus but in bangkok as you probably are aware there's literally loads and loads of tuk tuk right i'm going to keep going let's soldier on who knows i'm not worried about me getting wet i'm more worried about the camera people are looking at me going what's that idiot doing right <laughs> one-handed on a bike in the rain with a camera in his hand i honestly don't know But we are getting close to where I want to go to. And if you are riding the motorbike, one thing to just say, and I know it's common sense, and you're probably thinking, did you really just tell me that? But these, uh, these drainage grills, be really careful, guys. If you uh, go around a bend and you catch them, they are really slippery and they will, they will ping you off. There's absolutely no doubt about that. They will get you off. So just uh, try and stick on the roads. Only if you're going around at an angle on a bend. Um, but I'm probably teaching it to suck eggs there anyway, so sorry about that, but it's just... Uh, that was my caring thought for the day. Now up here, there's a few places that I want to shout you out. So let me, uh, come on, let's have some sun, be nice. It's a lovely day today. Incidentally, oh bollocks, I said it, <laughs> oh no, no. Right, what I was meaning to say was, um, I want to go over there, I need to get over there. Uh, Right, let's keep going. Never say never. That used to be a banana phone shop. Uh, banana were a big brand here. Used to be a phone shop. They've gone tits up. Quite a few places have sadly gone to the, gone, gone to the dogs. But uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, that's right. Someone's, I've had a few people. Hello. <laughs> 10 o'clock in the morning, son. Fill your boots. God damn. Um, what, where was I? I've lost my line of thought. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, so as you know, I did a video the other day and uh, I shared my experience about how I got mugged off and you know, it happens, such is life. And a few people have said to me, have I got any other little pearls, any other gems that I can share with you? Uh, the only one I could think of, and I'll, I'll happily go back through it, is my three ladyboy experiences. I'm not sure you really want to know about that, but anyway, if you did want to know about it, I'm happy to put them on camera and talk to you through those. I have shared them in the past on various things like live streams and stuff like that. But if you want me to do a specific nuts and bolts, the whole, the whole she bangs, uh, if you want me to do that, then uh, I'll happily do a video on my three experiences. And while I've got you here, guys, while I have got you here, um, I am putting together a book for Christmas. And it's a non-profit making book. I'm not gonna make a single penny out of it, so don't think that you're gonna supply me with stuff I'm gonna make money from. But what I am doing is I'm asking people to share their stories of things that has happened to them that they, they would like to share. It could be a, a fun night out, it could be a horror story, it could be a fantastic story, whatever you want to share. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an e, you know like we got my e-magazine, I'm going to make an e-book. And like I said, it'll be completely free, there's no, no charge whatsoever. Um, but I want to make it for Christmas and we can push it out there and just say, look, here's some of the stories from people that uh, have been out here and had various different experiences of all kinds and I think that would be quite good fun so if you have got a story that you'd like to share you can share the story you can tell me leave my name out or put your name in whatever you'd like me to do guys uh, please ping out an email 247potato at gmail.com uh, the email is in the description of the video and like I say I won't I won't make reference to you if that's what you want or I can put your name in it if that's what you'd like and it's completely absolutely uh, non non-profit making it's just a bit of fun now one place I want to show you there there you go the deli factory now, if you, if you like your cold cut meats and uh, your pizzas and pastas and all that, that really is a fantastic place. Hugely recommended, highly recommended and respected. They do fantastic food. Um, and what I will do is, I can't do it today because the owner, Mario, is not there. Uh, but what I will do is I'll pop in and I'll actually showcase all the meat and everything in another video coming up. But that's a brilliant place. The Delhi Factory. Go in there, guys. Honestly, even if you're just here on holiday, uh, it really is great. And uh, it's definitely worth popping into go and get yourself some fresh bread and away you go and talking about um, your, your, uh, your you're missing your home food and all the rest of it just here see here look fever fever expat food and beverages uh, stock a wide range of uh, various different stuff that you would expect to find back home so uh, on your radar guys now these places these two places here have definitely got to be on your radar and there we are now, you've got that one there, which is Malibu. Uh, that's a, a gents club. 
It looks like my camera's a bit misty. I might have to clean it. One second. Let me just check that. And in here, let me just look at the camera. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we've got a bit of water going on. Right, let, I'll be back in a second. One second. All right, that's better. Yeah, I had a bit of rain on the front of the lens. I'm surprised the camera didn't shut down, to be fair. But anyway, this is Babylon. Now, he's a new owner called Tony. He's an absolute diamond geezer. Spitting image, would you believe, of Alan Minter. If you Google Alan Minter and then come in and see Tony, you will instantly, 100% recognise him. He's the, he's the absolute spit of him. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm showing you, this is a really good club. Go in there, it's behind closed doors. What goes on there behind the closed doors, stays behind those doors. Um, go in there, he's got about 15 to 20 girls. It's a good vibe. Rooms upstairs, all that kind of stuff. Get yourself in there, guys, I promise you you will not have a bad time. And I think at the moment it's opening, I might be wrong on this, I think it's at three o'clock, I think. Don't hold me to that. It's either two or three, I think, off the top of the head. Um, but I'll put a link to their Facebook page and then uh, go check it out, guys. Honestly, it's definitely worth looking at. And incidentally, on the subject of Tony, he's a, he's a hilarious guy, really nice guy. Oh, by the way, before I talk about Tony, over there, there you go. That's Nardia's. I did a video short the other day and uh, I showcased their breakfast. That's Nardia's in there. And I'm going to do a lot more shorts uh, coming up. Now, what was I say about Tony? Yeah, he's a funny old guy. He really is. He's a really nice guy. So we were talking about uh, uh, stuff on uh, online earlier on, and he was moaning. He was moaning, saying, "Where's this bloody eye season?" I said, "Just relax, give it time." I said, "You'll be all right, mate. Don't worry." I said, "It'll come." And he he called me a proctologist. He said, "I'm always the proctologist." So I was like, I had to Google that. I didn't know what it was. Anyway, I've Googled it, and it comes up to me and says that I deal with uh, colonic irrigation and uh, anal problems. <laughs> oh dear, I love him, he's such, a, he's such a funny guy, such a nice guy as well, he's a genuinely nice guy. But when you go in there, do me a favour guys, when you go in and say, oh you're, you're Alan Minda, he'll, he'll love that. He'll, he'll be sitting there, if he's watching this video now, he'll be calling me all the names under the sun, more than a proctologist. Uh, but yeah, go and say, so you, you Alan Minda mate, he'll uh, crack him up. Please do that, if you go in there, Alan Minter him up. That's a new word, isn't it? Alimenter him up. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? I don't care what goes on. I don't care how bad things may be or the rain, whatever. I always, I always have a laugh when I do these. I love it. It brightens my day up, to be fair. It really does. And talking of brightening up your day, now, here we go. This little soy here, this little stretch, is absolutely, 100%, definitely got to be done. It has to be done. And uh, there's two places I want to shout out to in particular, and that's Stan's places. That's Club Four in there. The girls do a show, and uh, I'll leave that to your imagination. It's extremely good, very fun, very hands-on. And he's got the other place here called Sin, Club Sin. And again, uh, I can't say too much here, which is why I can't wait for my members area to come up on my, my website, which I'm working on. Uh, that's going to be fantastic. But these are all good places. These are all good. I'm not just excluding those two. Uh, Purple's good, 007, Bada Bing. And of course, pirates at the end there, that's always been very good. Um, but yeah, come in here, guys, check these places out. I promise you, you will be very pleased that you did. That's all I can say on the matter. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, where should I go back? I don't know, let's have a think. Um, do, do, do. I think we can go this way. I, I, actually, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see. If we get lost, we get lost together. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, go in there, guys, honestly. Oh, hello, this is all new. Look at this. Oh, this is, this is only, well, I say recently. I haven't been around this road for a good, probably three months. Ah. Oh. That's all nice. That's all new. And then there must be, well, obviously, yeah, look, you can see the structure. I'm no engineer, but even I can work that out. Look, there you go. Those small little huts there, I guess, are being replicated over there. Um, but, yeah, what was I saying? I've lost my, oh, yeah, I don't know where we're going now. So if we get lost, we get lost. And in there, you see that there? I can't remember the name of the condos now, so it's a big condominium block. That's where I first started doing my tie lessons. And uh, with Prasanna, absolutely lovely lady. And she's the, the, she remember I told you about when I was learning and she wanted to teach me to read it and I said, get lost, I don't want to learn all that scribble. Just teach me how to say words. And then I met the guy over in uh, the Glass House restaurant in Najom Tien, who was fluent. And he said to me, I said, I interrupted his mouth. I'm really sorry to interrupt you, boss. I said, but may I ask a question, please? How long did it take you to learn to speak Thai to this level? And he said, oh, about two years. I'm like, two years, dude. That's outrageous. He said, I can't even string a word together. And I've been doing this for a year. So he said to me, he said, well, can you read Thai? I said, you're having a giraffe. And I said, I can't even speak it. 
He said, well, go and learn. When you learn to read, he said, you'll speed up your learning of Thai 10 times over. And I went back to Prasanna, I said, Prasanna, we need to learn a reader. She went, you remember, I told you a year ago, you tell me I don't want to read that scribble. <laughs> yes, okay, I know you're right, I'm sorry. And uh, that's what we did. And I've got to say, truthfully, I mean, I'm, by no, I'm nowhere near fluent, but I can get by. Look at this, beautiful. I can definitely get by, but I can read everything in Thai, if it's in the standard font. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. That is nice. Who's ever stayed in there? Um, yeah, sorry, yeah, but um, I'm by no means fluent, but I'll tell you what, it literally, and here's a posh word. I mean, check this out, and I didn't even have to Google this. It expediated my learning. You're loving that, aren't you? Expediated. Check me out. I do impress myself sometimes when I come out with these long words. Half the time, I don't even know what they mean. I just heard other people saying them. But anyway, it sounds good. Expediated. I think that means it went quicker. A bit like, what does he call me? A proctologist. So now, for the rest of my life, I'm going to use sentences where I say, are you a proctologist? <laughs> Only because I now know what it means. Thanks to Tony at uh, Babylon and Sweet. He's also got Sweets Lounge. He's, he's not open that at the moment. Uh, Sweets Lounge in Soy Honey. Another good place there is uh, the Honey Lounge. Go and see Graham, he's a good lad. But uh, yeah, Tony's closed down the Sweets Lounge at the moment. He's, uh, he's going to wait out a bit. And uh, hopefully he'll reopen soon. But please, when you see him, just say, you Alan Minter? Honestly, I'd love it. Next time I see him, he say, you and your bloody Alan Minter. <laughs> um, right, I'm, I'm going to fess up now, guys. I've absolutely no idea where we are. As in, like, where we're going or where we're going to end up. So I really don't know what we're doing here. A lot of windy roads. I am going to come off this motorbike in a minute. Uh, come on, give me, oh, this is, where are the bloody hell are we going? See, now this person, look, they walk around, that thing in the bell selling ice cream. Ice cream and lollies all day. Why do you come? Fair play, you know, I love, I, I have the utmost respect for the Thai people that do that, you know. Particularly when I go home, when I go back up to my village, there's a lot more of that stuff happening there. They, they tend to walk around with barrows rather than uh, using uh, motorbikes and uh, the sidecars. Um, Shit, I ain't got a clue where we are. Um, we've got to be coming out of this the road, isn't it, surely? Oh, dear. I'm miles away from where I wanted to be. I was only literally two minutes from, me, from where I needed to be, and now we're miles away. Oh, well. If nothing else, at least you've had a scenic tour of, uh, of the back streets of the city. But, yeah, when I go up home, honestly, they are just amazing. Like, I've uh, so much respect, and they work so hard. And, you know, in all fairness, for not a lot of money, really. Oh, that's jazzy, isn't it? What's that? The Um Cafe. Never even knew these places are here. Ah, oh, right. Oh, I know where we are. We're up at Sukhumit now. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so I really am in the complete arse end of nowhere. All oh, right, there we go. I know where we are. So, I wonder if I can go down there. Well, I'll tell you what. Listen, I've bored you enough now, so let me wrap this video up. I'm going to take my helmet off for one second. Right, let's take that off. Whew. All right, there we are. Uh, yeah, so we're just outside the Kawasaki dealer on the main road here. All right, well, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Uh, something different. It's a little bit uh, off the beaten track. Ooh, nice car. Look at that. That's some money. An old Porsche. Okay, and, oh, that's a lot of dollar. Uh, right, where were we? I'm, I'm on me like... Uh, 20,000 motorbike and there's about a million bucks car worth it probably more than that anyway so that's it today i hope you enjoyed that uh, i will bring some more ride arounds to you and uh if there's any areas you want me to cover let me know guys just ping a message to me and i'll do my very best to get out there and do it for you all right that's it thank you so much indeed for watching as always please remember hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when i bring out a new video uh, take a look on discord uh, we're in, we are nearly there now, 19,000 members and very close to getting there. Uh, so have a look on Discord, it's totally free of charge, so much information, etc. So please check that out. And if you'd like to support the channel and the work that I do, there is a link to the members area down below. Membership starts with as little as 89 pence a month. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much indeed for watching. And please, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.